Man, what's up, everybody? This is Life. What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Young Swallow. And this is Adrian. And this is Just Do The Damn Thing Podcast. Do the damn thing, do the damn thing, yeah. Do the damn thing, do the damn thing, yeah. Do the damn thing, do my damn thing. I'ma do my damn thing. I'ma do my damn thing. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for tapping back in with us. This is Just Do The Damn Thing. Episode 41. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and hop right into it. Today's going to be a super short episode. Uh, we're not at our usual recording place. We're not at the studio where we usually go to. So we had a makeshift something, but we're still here for you guys, and we appreciate you guys tuning in. So uh, today's uh, topic is, will chivalry die if men and women have the same expectations in society? Uh, Adrian brought up this question. I think it's a very good question, especially right now with, um, uh, it's not really equal rights, but like, you know, women trying to be seen more, uh, more than what they were in the past, so to speak. So Adrian, what's your opinion on it? Um, I think there's a lot of different takes you could take on it. Um, one, um, to answer the question, uh, at the core of it, I think, yes, it can and will die. Um, only because I think as women more so expect them, expect when, expect to be treated like a man um, or as equal to a man, the less that men um, will see that they need to or expect it or should feel like they should do certain things. Um, but a lot of guys are just raised old school and it's just things that um, that they're like, okay, yeah, no, you open the door, you pump the gas for your significant other you know there's you lift the heavy items whatever whatever um but i guess one way and, and i know it's not indicative of the whole society but mm-hmm. um i was telling joe about a story that happened in my classroom um we had um a get together in our classroom like a little um party i guess thing okay. and we moved the desks and then um at the end of the day we're moving the desks back and um some the girls were helping me and i'm pregnant move the desk and i got on the boys that's like see that's why you guys are gonna be 45 Wait, so at your mom's house because y'all ain't over, y'all over there watching these girls move these desks so the boys not, weren't helping at all no it was literally just girls. mostly girl well i think there might have been a boy oh, but okay. out of the boys that were in there like there were some uh-huh. big tall six foot boys and you know uh-huh. you know boys they're 14 13 14 yeah. year old boys and so i made a comment like this is why you guys are gonna be 45 living at your mom's house and wonder why you're single because you over here watching these girls move these desks and they <laughs> shouted equal rights equal rights so it made me think so it made me think about that though because i was like wow that's what you guys think like that that equates to that because they're thinking well if you can do what i can do then how come i have to help you yeah yeah and so that just made me think i was saying to show was like but that's but it's true but i mean it's true and it's not it's like Again, you guys are probably going to say you're from the old school. Like, I'm sure you guys were taught you don't let a woman just do that by themselves. Right, like, right. period. I mean, let's just go to teamwork. You shouldn't even let somebody exactly. do it by themselves, no matter if they're man or woman, period, if it's heavy. Yep, sure um, but it's <laughs> just interesting that that's how boys are starting to think. Like, uh-huh. these boys will someday be men. They're going to be you yeah. guys. But their take on it is going to be, well, if you're equal to me, how come I have to help you lift that heavy item? Can't you do it? Right. Or right. whatever. So it's just scary to me. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Scary the, why? Only because I'm old school. Uh-huh. And I just think that based on even biology, if I took it down to science, Mm-hmm. Men, there's just certain thing men are supposed to do that women are not. Mm-hmm. That's just what I think, and it's yeah. not about us. physically. Yes, it's literally like you can't argue that. Literally. Yes, yes, it has okay. nothing to do with us being less than. There's things that we can do that you guys can't. Mm-hmm. You can't have a child, like you can't carry one. You physically cannot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, right? Like it's just that's and that's not something you guys would be like. Well, I bet you I could have a kid. Like you wouldn't even have that argument with a woman because <laughs> yeah. how can you? You don't know what it's like. Yeah. And I remember, and I was like, that's why I appreciate Joe because I was talking about that. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Like, you don't understand like how draining it is to be pregnant and all that. And he was like, and I would never claim to understand. Like he said that straight <laughs> up. He was like, like, because I asked him what type. I was like, when I say I'm tired, do you feel like I'm like? you could do it get up you know what i mean right, he right. never says that and he was like no because i don't know what you're going through i have no clue what that feels like uh-huh. and in my head if you say you're tired you're tired and i'm just gonna leave it because i don't know <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean so like 
Yeah. So I just feel like doesn't mean that we're less than it just means that we're different because we yeah. are biologically different and there's things that you guys are supposed to do that that we're not and there's things that we're supposed to do that you're not and that's okay mm -hmm. that doesn't make me less than you or you less than me i want to know did the boys end up helping or not uh not really no a couple <laughs> of them got up but a couple of them laughed and said equal rights and i was like all right equal, equal right, right. y'all gonna be equally on that couch in, in your mama's house because and wonder why yeah. no woman wants you because you over there doing that yeah um but still it was just like really like y'all sitting there and the girls just like kept going yeah. and i'm just like and this is what you're going to come to it Th then it's like on the flip side y'all need to expect more of these boys yeah like have because that, set that expectation yeah for them, like, yeah have them live up to that to but they be having crushes and want to date these same boys that's talking about this equal rights stuff about uh -huh. moving it's just simple thing as moving the desk but i'm like yeah, yeah. that's the boy you're chasing like really a boy that will let you do that by yourself uh -huh. that's the same boy that's gonna sit in the car while you pump gas yeah. And me and Joe actually watched the video, and I don't mean to go on a tangent. No, no I'll skip ahead, it from there. It. Um, this guy whose woman was changing the tire no that got flat, way. and he stood there the whole time. He's it was like <laughs> if you, it, he, I was supposed to be wherever, something, something. I don't know what he was saying. This guy recorded said, "This man is standing here, letting his woman change a tire, uh -huh. and he's just standing there, like yeah. he's not trying to help." But did the guy come and help? The guy got out and asked to help, and the guy was like, "No, she's good." <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I said, he would have been good walking because as soon as I got that tire done, I would have locked the doors and drove off because <laughs> hell no. Lock your ass. And then people made yeah, comments like, what if you don't know how to change a tire? I'm like, Joe's the kind of person, and this has happened before, like, if it was something like that and he didn't know how to do it, he would say, just tell me what to do, but don't do it. Like, yeah, like yeah. I don't know how, but tell me. I'm not going to let you sit here and let you do it, though. Because yeah, then, me we'll, how does that look we'll on me? Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. I'd rather you just direct me and I do it. Like, especially if something like that. He would not He would be like, nope, stay in the car. I'll YouTube it. <laughs> I got yeah. it. Yeah, I'll make it up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, so real, like, real. yeah. So, but still, he's young, he was a young boy in that video. He's probably like 19, 20. And I'm just like, look, like it's starting to become a thing. Like yeah. that's scary, like to me, because it's not even like, and again, it's not even like us. And that might not be a biological thing with women and men, mm -hmm. but I just a certain essence I think right. needs to be preserved, and I feel like that is one of those. Like, I don't know. But what you guys think? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I I definitely agree, agree with that. Like, I feel like. But to, just to go off to what, what you were saying, just biologically, men are just bigger, stronger. They're, it, it, and so, you, like you said, that women can do things that men can't. Men can do things that women can't. Mm -hmm. And that's why God created man and woman because they're supposed to balance each other out. Yes. They're supposed to work together yes. in harmony because mm -hmm. somebody can't. Uh, because we're all... I don't want to say we're all here too, but life continues with procreation. Yes. And one person can't procreate by themselves. Yes. You right. know what I mean? Yes. So that's why you have this harmony between man and woman. Man is there to help woman with, um, you know, one of the few things, you know, with physical labor mm -hmm. and things like that. And a woman is there to help the man emotionally or whatever. Nurturing. Yeah, nurturing. Nature him. versus nurture or whatever. That exactly. Is. No, like I believe, you know, that a woman should cook for a man you mm. know what i mean See, even if they both work you yeah. know what i mean even if they both work just because it, it's you preserve those values but a man should be holding on to his end of the agreement as well so you think a, a man should be are you old school enough to say like i pay the bills and i take care of the house i, and, I do as far I, as that and i wish it was more like that because i do agree with that but nowadays the way that everything is with money the way, the way inflation yeah, is, the way prices everything is. is so damn expensive it's hard for a man with a regular 40 hour job to provide for his whole family on his income alone mm -hmm. if i could i would you know if, what if, about the flip do you what if a woman wants to be the one that goes to work and a man wants to stay home and be I personally wouldn't be okay with that. Okay. You know, if, if that's my not wife, your arrangement. Yeah. If my wife wants to work, she can, but I would prefer that she didn't and I work and I provided for her so she could stay home, take care of the house and raise kids because with, like I said, with everything going on in the world right now, I don't trust my kids. You know, if I have any in the hands of anybody, I feel like the woman should be there to raise the kids as much as she can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm I'm very old school. Yeah, I'm gonna um, say I'm that old that old school. Like yeah. I think the roles could be reversed. Even at one point we were talking about that because mm -hmm. 
like it was one little small inkling of time when he wasn't he was working a job he really didn't like at all Mm -hmm. and i think we just had denise and i was making a bulk of the money Mm -hmm. and so we discussed like with babysitting because this was before like my mom was with us so she helps now but before Mm -hmm. this that wasn't an option and we were like well it'd be cheaper if you stayed home and Mm -hmm. i continued to work and he was okay with that Mm -hmm. like I mean, same, he wants, he, but he's always made a point to say he wants to be the one that retires me, not the other way around, right. but like just a temporary no, solution yeah, to temporary, a long term, yeah, but sure, I'm yeah. still okay. Like, let's just say I was just a badass bomb lawyer and made hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. <laughs> right. I wouldn't care. Like if, uh-huh. if, cause I, I mean, I have a friend that's that way that he's, he wants to be the stay at home. I'm not gonna say names, but he wants to be the stay at home. He kind of is at this point uh-huh. and his wife's a badass lawyer and she oh, okay. pays um i'm guessing i don't know mm-hmm. financially but most of the bills right and but his wife wants to work she loves her job she so, loves being a lawyer so what does he do at home well he he mo- he has most of the like they do they do they have a son mm-hmm. so they okay, do okay. like split the deal i mean the the taking care of it but he does most of it because obviously he's at home right i think and again, mm-hmm. I don't, he watched this podcast, so he probably don't know what I'm talking about him. But anyways, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, but their arrangement seems to be like, mm-hmm. and it's funny because like even me, like I remember at one point I was like, I never want to be a stay at home mom. But now that I've had Denise and like mm-hmm. going to have another one, I'm like, I actually wouldn't mind like doing that. <laughs> um, it changes yeah. how you think a lot. But right. I mean, I'm not like to that old school. I just feel like as long as it's a team and you guys have a, a plan mm-hmm. of how you want things to run, it could be a man does it or a woman does it because Mm -hmm. financially it should be whatever's best for you guys and whoever would want to do it like he would want to do it because he would want you know like for example omg and all of his other ventures to blow up enough to where he can do that and he likes to hustle Mm -hmm. and he would be perfectly fine if i stayed at home like if that's he could do what he loves and take care of us financially and that and i'm speaking for him even Mm -hmm. though i know he will jump in if he disagreed with what i was saying (laughs) but um you know he would want that to be that way and me be cool and being at home if that's what I really wanted to do. Or if I still wanted to teach, he wouldn't care about that either. Like, right. you know, because we, we do split the duties for the most part. Like, yeah. I mean, I am the main cooker. I mean, not now. My mom was with us, but yeah. I was the main cooker. And um, But at the same time, for this you might not agree with, he cleans a mm-hmm. lot. Because I said, if I I'm going to cook, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I said, but if I'm going to cook, like, I remember that was a fight we had at the beginning. I was like, if I'm going to cook, I'm not cleaning up the kitchen after also. Like, like that's so that's the agreement that me and my, my wife have for the mm-hmm. most part. Like if she cooks, like I'll clean everything. Like I, yeah. I don't mind. Like I'll clean because you you cook. You know what I mean? You make this easy. Like, yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah, <laughs> like duh. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, some but, guys, but some there, old school some guys will say no. Nope, you do to both cook and clean to mm-hmm. do both. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. me, that's just messed up. You know that's I mean? just over the top. Yeah, you gotta yeah, have that, sure. that that cohesiveness, yes, that, yes. that that cooperation. But I do want to add that. The reason why I think a woman should be home taking care of the kids and the man, because I feel like women intuitively are just better at raising kids than a man is. You I know what I mean? Because we're the nurturers. Yeah, because women are the nurturers. It's literally in your DNA. DNA. Yeah, I get that. You know what I mean? To raise kids better. Mm-hmm. That's why. But if you don't have any kids and the man wants to stay home, I'm cool with that too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if kids as long as you take care of your business, yeah, yeah, exactly. But if kids are involved, then I do think it's better okay. if a woman wants to stay home. Okay. Yeah. Well, Joe, what you think? I agree with both. <laughs> I kind of disagree with both of you. Like, um, I definitely think a woman has a role in certain sp- in certain times. Mm-hmm. Like, especially when it, what you just said right now, when it comes to taking care of a child, mm-hmm. they're just better when it comes to nurturing yeah. a child because, and then they have because you know what guys do. They have videos of all the time. We we let them get away with a whole bunch of stuff that's it they're doing all kind of crazy air, stuff you know mm-hmm. messing with them yeah. like we're borderline or if it's me i'd be uh i feel like i'd be too too strict uh too strict yeah you know what that I mean? too that happens too with guys oh we have like, that fight now like he'll say i let denise get away with too much and he's like no no <laughs> sit down do this whatever whatever i'm like joe she's only 21 months she don't understand most of what you're talking about don't care but he's like understand yeah, she there she you go <laughs> But, but see, that's the see, that's the to me, that's the balance. It need, she needs because she needs structure, mm-hmm. and if she doesn't have structure, she's gonna always believe that that what she's doing is okay. I agree with that. So yeah. that's I why feel like we there's have a way. to. Yeah, exactly. But we have to have some sternness with her because she needs to know what no means. She needs to know what yes I means. Agree. She needs to know mm-hmm. what 
it is to be a child and a respectful child. Yeah. So and understand that and your understand are that your parents are in charge. Mm -hmm. And when we say no, we mean it. Mm -hmm. So and right now she does not have that type of thing. She's starting to get it when I say no. When she starts to get into stuff and mm -hmm. I you know say no in my my deep voice or whatever, yeah. and then she'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> and then just look at me like, damn, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. But yeah, but overall, but overall, definitely. And then like, if she punishes uh, her, then we need to be on the same accord as far right. as... And we said that the other day. You know, like, we need to, when he disciplines like, or he comes in and says, no, get off that, don't do that, I don't say nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's not my place. Like, one, I should trust him as my husband and his as her father that he's going to do what's best for her. Otherwise, I yeah. shouldn't have no kids with him. Right. So when he says, you know, stop, no, don't do that, I don't jump in. And we talked about that the other day. I was like, we always said, like, if I say no, like, he should, she shouldn't be able to go to him and say yes yeah. or the other yeah, way around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It should be, what is your, because I said that would be me. Like, and we already said this probably how we're going to be. Like, can I do something? What'd your dad say? No. Well, then why are you asking me? Yeah. You know, or what'd your mom say? No, then you already yeah, know the answer exactly. so um you just gotta you gotta make sure you respect each other's you know but back to the root question do you guys think chivalry would die if men and women had the same expectation we kind of kind of didn't really touch on that i said much. i said yes <laughs> so, i do yeah. think that so it chivalry to me would definitely go away if um there's so many people here that believe that women should be able to do just whatever a man should do mm -hmm. and then if that's the case you need to be wholeheartedly in that to yeah, me. So you need to be, you can't be double <laughs> Brings me another story. Yeah, I'll talk about double dutching into yeah. it. Like, yeah. You can't be saying, you're in, you're out. I could do whatever a man can do. Well, then you open my door then. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> right? That's technically yeah, you put the seat up when you leave. To go yeah, to exactly. When you leave the bathroom, you put, you put the, the seat down, put up. the seat up. You know? yeah, yeah. So I open your own damn jar, damn it. Exactly. <laughs> you <laughs> pump the gas <laughs> or whatever. You build this house. You do all the other things. I ain't building no house, though. No, I'm just saying. You know, anything. You walk on the car side of the street. Or what? that person was just doing she's talked about you know you change that damn tire i ain't changing no damn tire yeah exactly so it's like if you if you believe that that's the case embrace the whole entire role mm -hmm. of a man instead of so you can't you don't think it can be a a, a line I, there shouldn't be because if we're totally actually equal mm -hmm. that means yeah, we can that's actually... where it all to me falls apart because i think there can be a balance i just think like you said we want to push it and mm -hmm. which brings me to another story, but I won't, I don't want to get too many no, stories right, in ahead. here, but well, cause we were talking about the whole Russia, Ukraine situation, right. which oh, I'm not going to get into anything like that, but to right. say in, in Ukraine and I think in Russia, um, all men under a certain age, 18 or whatever age is being automatically put to the draft or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, so of course the kids were like, what if I get drafted? I'm like, first of all, you're not even old enough. Um, secondly, you have to be, you know, you have to be at least 18. Yeah. And then they were, and I said, I, and it only applies to men. Mm -hmm. And that, and then of course brought up the question like, well, if women want equal rights. How come women can't get drafted? Not getting drafted? Yeah. And so the girls, some of the girls were like, Psh, I'll stay home. And if it means I got to be that stay at home, cook clean 1950s mom, yeah. <laughs> cause you know, you see the ones with the apron and the vacuum and the hair yeah. all look all good. And then. They have the the food ready when the, the husband get home. He crashed on the couch and yeah, you know you know suitcase and all that. was that leave, the leave it to Beaver mom. You know what I mean? I got to be that. That's cool. I'm not going to war. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's like again, like it comes to the point where it's like, well, what point is there a line? Yeah. Like how come there can't be? A, it seemed like we don't know how to balance it. Yeah. Like, but I I say that that there could be a line. You yeah. know what I mean? But then I but but if we're going off with what Joe said, if you're in it 100. percent it has to be 100% all the way through. Mm -hmm. But I believe that there should be a line and there should be a balance. You know, I think that, that that's what mm -hmm. we, I think that's what all three of us agreed on. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel definitely. like the super old school is doing too much. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like, you don't have to be hella old school, but yeah, you know. Where you like could, pretty much try to control your woman. Oh yeah, because yeah, I, I was even, like, the, the like the, the section in history we're teaching right now is women's suffrage and abolitionism and uh, one of the notes I wrote on for the kids was like men had a right to hit their wife as long as they didn't seriously injure them <laughs> Like it wasn't it wasn't illegal like you could beat your wife as long as you didn't break an arm or yeah. something like that So like and and women's earned wage it went to their husband. This is 1800s. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Like um, all that like um, once a woman married a man all her assets went to him mm -hmm. like everything like that like so yeah. um, that's 
too much to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, especially the hitting thing. I'm like, what the heck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't know how to balance that. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I ex- he already know. He he pumps the gas. Like, he pumps the <laughs> gas. He takes the car to get the oil change. Yeah. I don't do none of that stuff. Especially because, you know, the whole car lots and guys. But still, like, I was raised that he pumps the gas. He takes out the trash. Mm-hmm. He puts the ass on the curb. You know, my mom said this that sometimes. But um, that's, you know, the stuff he does. Like, he walks on the so- side of the street where the cars are. Yeah. If we happen to be on the sidewalk, like, he lifts yeah. the heavy stuff. You know, like, but I, uh, to, but to answer the question, I do want to say that I don't think chivalry would die because I mm. feel like too many men would preserve it. You know what I mean? Mm. I agree. I kind of agree with that. You know, I, I feel, I feel like there's because men... you guys will raise your sons to be that. Yeah, way. exactly, and it's gonna be passed down. Mm. I feel like there's some, even if it's a small percentage of men, it won't die completely because I feel like there will be men that will preserve. But that. it is gonna push into the what we know as chivalry won't be what our kids know i think yeah, yeah. it's gonna yeah. change a well, lot and this is all depending on if this is if we go directly into a society where men and women are actually all the way around equal but if we're talking about just um the uh like the balance type of situation mm-hmm. I think it just depends on the demographic of the per of, of the individual person. And what is balance? And what like, is and what is balance? What is okay? A man does this, and but what, it does not have to do this. Like yeah, well, well, also because we're going off of like what what we know as as roles of now, like right. we think those roles should be, and like with chivalry, you know, most of the time everything is a guy should ask a woman out. We should open the door. We should pay on the date. We should pay on the date. We mm-hmm. should court and all that kind of stuff. Which um, I believe, obvi- I obviously believe to a certain extent. Um, yeah. But like, when when does that when does that line uh, when does that line go? Because if we're going off of um, if we're going off of the the society where everybody is equal, where everybody does the same thing, wouldn't society have it to where technically women would also do that like women like i said will also open the door right where it's just also expected pay. it would be expected well, it would well, be expected from both people right so, okay so, so it could go back and forth so, or nobody does it because everybody has this we're all seeing the, the same right it's yeah. like so back then a guy used to do it but then now a girl has to do it no you both have to do it so either you both do it or you both don't do it mm-hmm. you know what i mean so it yeah, could be to a I'm... point where like it, the relationship just get all screwed up <laughs> and, I, and not to get into a bigger conversation but i think also essence problem of this is women are i mean people are starting to push against what we call like gender norms like mm-hmm. um and i don't want to get into like a transgender gender binary situation but just to say what we the the cube or the square or the box we put men in and what that's defined as mm-hmm. is being pushed upon. The same thing with a woman. So with that comes, well, if that's the case, then, you know what I mean? If that's the case, then you can do this or other way around right, or right. whatever. And I think that's, it'll turn into just a selfish society where nobody would do anything for anybody. You yeah, because I mean? why should I have to do it for like, you? You can do it for why, yourself. Yeah, your you hand can, ain't broke, exactly. whatever, whatever. You, you can, can open it. your door. You, you know, know what I mean? So yeah. I think it would ruin society if it did go that way, honestly. But it's scary because, like, again, I mean, I don't know how, like, for example, those boys. They might have been joking. They might have, but the fact that they didn't really get up right away. Yeah, that they didn't Or actually, they know. didn't instinctually just do it from the jump. Right. You know, who's to say that their, their dads didn't raise them that way? Right. But now they're starting to, like, think differently. So uh-huh. you would hope what you would show your your son would be what he would take with him. Right, right. But again, like I, I just made me wonder, like I would never do that, but like call one of their dads and be like, hmm, did you you know your son just sat there? He'd probably be livid, you know what I mean? But um and they were probably I was just joking or whatever, but like I see it a lot. Like boys mm-hmm. don't they're not like you guys, like or like generations before that. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they think different. Like they really think that's interesting and, and, and it makes me scared for these girls so i'm like that's what you want like right. that's what you want a guy to be that way like uh-huh. that's and it, but at the same time if everybody's that way or most guys are that way then that you're gonna think that that's what's out that's there normal. Mm-hmm. yeah so you're not gonna expect more because there's not more <laughs> you know what i mean like more is not being offered so I don't know. That's why I think it's going to die. I mean, again, I'm going off of a classroom sample here, but yeah. I've seen it happen more than once. Like every Wednesday, 
we have uh, we have to put the chairs in circles and there's a lot of boys that stand around most boys help but there's like out of my class i wouldn't say every boy gets up and does and moves the desks Right. And we move the desk every Wednesday and move them back every Wednesday in the morning. There's more girls than boys that help? It's a few girls that always helps. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a few boys that always helps too. But then it's just like I said, there's more boys not helping oh. than are. Okay. And wow. so that makes me say, well, is chivalry becoming a rarity now? Mm-hmm. Because like I said, I mean, that's just a small example. So who's to say boys aren't <laughs> holding the door? Like even like I don't make the kids line up boy girl anymore but they still do um instinctually because of elementary school mm-hmm. but like even when they come to class the boy line will, sometimes boys are just cut in front of a girl and just walk in and in front of them like no ladies first anymore you know what yeah. i mean and so they're like stuff like that i see happen all the time and you're just like this is crazy to me yeah no i i, I think society would be ruined if chivalry died i don't know i feel like that's where it's going i'm just think saying it's headed that way and seems, i might just be going off of it just what seems, i see it just seems that way because of what a lot of things that we see right now in yeah. society mm-hmm. with, with the gender norms with the what the, with the examples you just gave with the you know the classroom situation or mm-hmm. the the woman that was changing her tire it just seems that happens more often than mm-hmm. not, and maybe and maybe it's been happening for a while. It's just now it's um, being yeah it's being. Documented I think it's happening more, more it's now, possibly with yeah, the millennium think... change, with the generational change. Because yeah. like I said, I don't I a that. lot more. You guys age guys don't do that as mm-hmm. much. Like I, right now, I, if that was in the classroom, I know you guys would be like you better like Joe would be like sit down, don't even touch a desk. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like because I think he was raised. I'm sure you the same way. Like. Mm-hmm. Don't even let the girl, like, no, move. Like, I got it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but they, no. Like, I was over there moving a chair, and I'm like, I'm freaking now I'm pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, if anything, like, I'm thinking most guys, you guys will be like, you going to go sit down somewhere? Not in a mean way. But to say you're pregnant, <laughs> you're, mm-hmm. you're a woman and you're pregnant, you should not be doing that mm-hmm. if I'm standing here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, and it looks bad. Like, you're standing there watching. Yeah. And this little girl, and this girl is, like like I said, some of them boys six foot one, two something pounds, some big boys. solid. Oh man! And it's like a girl that's like five there three moving the desk. Other, I'm like, what kind of <laughs> stuff they be eating now? I know <laughs> they look like, like grown ass men. Inch. They be like, they oh, look they like grown ass like men sometimes. Men. Like, but I'm saying, a beard better than mine. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying them grown looking boys will sit there and watch a girl five three yeah. move a desk, and she maybe maybe a buck twenty at the most, maybe wow. buck ten. And oh, that, remind, that reminded me of the video where this really tall dude was just watching this girl trying to reach for something. And then he goes right next to her and reaches for her and then walks off because he wanted the same thing. Wow. <laughs> See? That's what I mean. And he didn't get it for her. Yeah. So I was like, damn. That's what I'm saying. See? Chivalry would have been like. I'm sure that was just for social media. Yeah. yeah. You hope. Yeah. yeah. You hope. I mean, even I when, know, if it was serious, ah, oh, we we got a problem. <laughs> I mean, just like I haven't took public transportation a lot, but I remember when I did, I hardly ever seen men or women, but especially boys, get up for like old women getting on the bus. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why are you sitting down still? Like, you better offer that girl your that woman your she's seventy. Yeah. Like, what well, that was your grandma? Like, mm-hmm. you just gonna let her stand up, and she got a cane and everything, and yeah. you gonna let her stand up, and you just sitting there comfortable with your able body legs, you know? Yeah, I, it's, the respect level has been diminishing uh, in my eyes. What I've seen, mm-hmm. not just chivalry itself, but just respect itself, has been mm-hmm. going declining. Yeah, which is a topic we did cover. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it, yeah, mm-hmm. it, goes hand in hand. it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Into it. it does. It does. Yeah, man. So I, hope, I, I say yes. You. What do you say? You think chivalry would die if? I don't think chivalry would all the way die, like kind of he said. Yeah. But it would. It would. It would be a lot lower percentage. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so you have think not die, but mm-hmm. pretty it much. Not die. But I will say, if it does die, it would ruin society. Yeah. Yeah. The, I'm the, hoping the it's not going that's to. That's holding society together. That thing would rip apart. <laughs> yeah. The hope that I have is slim, but then, I have. Then hope. we would have like sports, <laughs> that is, sports where men and women will be in the same. Oh, we already have that. No, but I mean, but that's like, another ima- topic. No. Yeah, for a whole <laughs> yeah. other day. But we have that, but imagine. A woman playing in the defensive NFL. tackle or something. <laughs> defensive tackle, 
it would be not good. No, because you have guys like you that be like crushed, or you have guys like you guys like I'm just gonna let her go by because if my mama see me, <laughs> my mama said I can't hit a girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't even tackle right. her. Uh -huh. like, I'm supposed that's my job. We'll get all but kinds of touchdowns. I'm gonna go with this guy. Over <laughs> you here. Had to implement that in the rules. You can't tackle girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be crazy. All that'd right. be crazy. But yeah. But what do you guys say, guys? Do you guys think chivalry would die if men and women had the same expectations in society? Uh, we want to know what you guys think. Drop the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, do all that. Uh, but before we sign out, guys, we uh, anything else want to share? No, nope. I will say that I got my album, my EP out. Stay focused. Drop this Friday. Yes, Make sure sir. you cop that. I uh, got my video, Flame Too High, out on YouTube. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, Swello on YouTube. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by. So until then, we'll see you guys out on the next. Peace. O-M-G. Well, we keep going because the party don't stop. We turn up. Doing our thing, just living our lives. And we don't stop. Open my group so you know we won't flop. We turn up.